murderous cults, botched abortions, and more portals to hell. All that and more coming up on four creepy haunted locations in North America. Number 1. The Sally House This Atchison, Kansas house is considered one of the most haunted places in the country. It was built in the 1870s, but other than a few isolated incidents, there wasn't much paranormal activity until 1992 when Deborah and Tony Pickman moved in with their new baby. Before long, strange things began to happen. The lights flickered on and off in the baby's room, and stuffed animals moved on their own. Fires started inexplicably on the grounds. Tony reported being scratched by an unseen being, as well as homicidal thoughts and feelings of dread while in the house. One day, Tony saw a little girl in the house and drew a picture of her. The Pickmans hired a psychic who told them a spirit named Sally haunted the house. A previous resident later told the family her five-year-old daughter had an imaginary friend named Sally. When they contacted the girl and showed her Tony's drawing, she recognized the girl as her imaginary friend. The Pittmans finally moved out in 1994. There is no record of a little girl named Sally ever living in the house. But the ghost is thought to be one who died on the operating table when the house belonged to a physician. Today, the house is a tourist attraction. You can book a tour, investigate on your own, or even spend the night, if you dare. Number 2. Kirby Road On the side of Kirby Road in Toronto lies a roadside memorial. Sites like these aren't unusual, but this one stands out from the typical cross and flowers. It resembles a tombstone, complete with an inscription that reads, Selena, I'm a cute kid. Visitors to Kirby Road report seeing the ghost of a little girl in the area, about eight or nine years old, with long black hair as well as phantom vehicles. A house across the street from the memorial, known as Hell House, was reportedly once home to a local KKK leader who held group meetings there. According to one version of the legend, the house owner killed his daughter after discovering she was dating a black man. But many things about the Kirby Road legends don't add up. Birth and death dates on Selena's memorial indicate she was 15 when she died, hardly a kid. There are no records of the KKK or a murder of this sort in the area. So how much of the stories are true, and how much are just that? Stories. On November 1st, 1993, the same date on the memorial, a 15-year-old girl named Selena Degas Ferris did reportedly lose her life on that stretch of road. There was no paranormal activity reported on the road until this year. If reports of her death are true, it would make sense that the roadside memorial is for her. Nothing even resembling confirmation can be found for any other legends of Kirby Road. Perhaps the legends are mere campfire tales, unfortunately all deriving from one young girl's tragic death. Number 3. Bobby Mackey's Inside this famous Kentucky nightclub hangs a sign that warns patrons about the hauntings. Bobby Mackey's claims no responsibility for anything a ghost might do on the property. But it's not just ghosts you need to worry about here. In the back of the bar is a trap door that's allegedly a portal to hell. 
Bobby Mackey's has a history that stretches back over 100 years. It operated at one point as a slaughterhouse, which closed in the 1890s. It was after that when a satanic cult allegedly took over the building. In 1896, a young woman named Pearl Bryan was murdered by Scott Jackson, her boyfriend and father of her unborn child, and Jackson's friend, Alonzo Walling. It's not known whether her death was premeditated or the result of a botched abortion, though considering she was beheaded at some point, it's likely the former. Although her body was discovered over a mile from what's now Bobby Mackey, rumors circulated that Jackson and Walling were members of the cult, and Brian was killed as part of a satanic ritual. Her head was never recovered, and some still believe it was tossed down the trapdoor and straight to hell. Brian's death is just one of the many morbid legends associated with Bobby Mackey's. But even with that story alone, it's no wonder this place is considered one of the most haunted nightclubs in the country. Number 4. The Devil's Tree In an undeveloped field in Bernard's Township, New Jersey, sits an ordinary-looking tree. The area around the tree is untouched by snow, even in the dead of winter. The field is officially a park, but grounds are not maintained, because touching or even speaking ill of the Devil's Tree is a bad omen. Rumors surrounding the tree run rampant, from the KKK using it as a lynching tree, to a farmer who killed his family, then hanged himself on the tree. Witnesses report seeing someone hanging from time to time, but it's almost always an apparition. Others say they've been chased by a black truck, supposedly belonging to the groundskeeper. Any interactions with the tree including sitting near it, touching it, climbing it, or even talking negatively about it, are thought to bring on car trouble and even crashes. Despite this, graffiti and even axe marks are still visible on the tree, though nobody has succeeded in cutting it down. A thin sheet of barbed wire is wrapped around the bottom of the trunk, though that doesn't appear to stop skeptics. So those are some of the creepy haunted locations in North America. Can you think of any more? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a creepy day.